Hello everyone, welcome back once again to the Carnival Toy Review. I am like always your Immortal Toy Master Willow and today I will be bringing to you two Marvel Legends from two different lines because, eh, why not? You get Build-A-Figure Sugar Man, but I don't really like all of the people in that line so I just got Morph because he's the coolest out of the line. I mean, unless you like the other guys. Like, I'd probably get number three. I don't really know who it is, though. So, it says Sunfire? I don't know who that is. Never really heard about him. But Beast would have been kind of cool in Weapon X, but not really worried about it. But I got Marvel's Morph. A natural mimic, Kevin Snide, transforms himself into any shape at all. He was also introduced in Marvel's X-Men the animated series from back in the day. Do 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 that one. If you know what I'm talking about, um, he was actually had a human form, um, and they do make that toy, but I don't have that one, or I would put it next to it so you would see what he'd look like with a regular human face. But as for him, he came with this really cool coat thing. Just pops off so you can have this and then there's him and then for articulation he got the butterfly joints the double elbow joints the double knee joints the spinny foot the tilty foots the ab crunch the torso split the full head articulation you know everything these good uh marvel legends do I just wish all action figures came like that. It would just be cool if they just automatically came like that. Because it just makes stuff so much better. Um, Mattel. WWE. Make people spend too much money. On something that Hasbro does for $20. Thank you Hasbro. I do I'll have to say that. Thank you Hasbro. And on this side... We have build a figure demo goblins. I'm trying to get this whole line because I do want that demi goblin. He is really cool. The only thing I need left is Vulture and Shagong Chi, whatever his name is, the Kung Fu guy. Otto Octavius suits up in a high tech spider suit to protect the city as the superior octopus. Um, I thought this was the Hydra suit honestly, but it's apparently not, um, so, I don't know, I just liked it because it was cool looking, and it has that green on it, but all of this comes off, um, does not hinder any articulation, so it is a regular Spider-Man, um, he doesn't have ab crunch, his is the ball joint, which I don't mind that either, but that's really cool, so, either or. Either or Hasbro. I like that has none of Hasbro's um, characters are are all exactly the same. So that's what I do like about the Marvel line. You cannot definitely tell what body goes with other ones. Like I know that's a Spider-Man body, but is it all Spider-Man parts? Who knows? And then that one, I don't know what body that is. It looks like. Another Spider-Man body that I have that doesn't do that. Because I have a Spider-Man that has the ab crunch. You've seen him. It's the other Spider-Man. Here. All my Spider-Man have the ab crunch and the twist. So he doesn't. He has the rotational ball joint on the top. So that would be the difference. Whoop. That is my video for the day. If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below on which one of these two you like better. Superior or... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Superior Octopus or... Morph. Ba -dum! And always remember to wash them hands during a time of need, time of deed, time of lead, and have clean underwear. Hinchin'.